Hello friends, welcome to Technique, this is Nirmal here and in this video we will be doing an in-depth review of the new POCO X4 Pro 5G which is launched in India for a price of around 18 triple nine. and uh, this device comes with pretty good hardware it has Qualcomm's uh, Snapdragon 695 chip an AMOLED 120Hz refresh rate uh, a 5000mAh battery 67 watt charging a 64 megapixel triple camera setup so it's a well uh, uh, balanced uh, configuration in terms of hardware for the price segment it is being offered but how does that uh, fare in terms of performance and is it really a good device to buy below the 20,000 price segment in India that's what we're going to analyze in this video so before getting started if this is your first time on this channel do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin first let's have a look at the design and build quality now looking at the design you can see that the poco x4 pro 5g looks pretty good uh, in terms of design you can see the front panel design looks uh, pretty neat the punch hole selfie camera is at the center the bezels have been kept minimal even the bottom bezels looks uh, pretty minimal uh, for a 20k price device the sides have uh, uh, the flat edges and the back panel also has a flat edge and we have a, a camera layout here it's a rectangular layout with the uh, edges being curved and uh, you have the poco branding here 64 megapixel branding branding as well there is a pattern on the back panel although it's a glass finishing you can see here when light falls uh, there is a pattern on the back panel which adds to the beauty of the device we have the uh, power button which also acts as the fingerprint scanner the volume keys we have the 3.5 mm audio jack uh, dual uh, stereo speakers ir blaster is there then a sim tray is there uh, you also have the usb type c port and another speaker here so it's a pretty good device in terms of build quality fit and finish and even in terms of design and looks it looks really good one of the better looking devices out there in the uh, the 20000 price segment so poco x4 pro is definitely good in terms of design and build quality next let's talk about the display now this has a full hd amoled display it's a 120 hertz refresh rate now if you go to the display settings and uh, you can uh, see that uh, this has a pretty good uh, um, colors and vivid display it's a amoled panel and uh, 120 hertz uh, refresh rate adds to uh, the better experience the smoothness uh, you can actually see the smoothness of the display now if you go here you can see the refresh rate uh, there are two options 120 hertz and 60 hertz so this is a very good display in terms of uh, performance and um, overall experience looks good uh, it's a vibrant uh, crisp and colorful display at the same time 120 hertz refresh rate adds a smooth smoothness and um, there is also Corning gorilla glass protection offered so display is again one of the best in this segment uh, especially for watching movies this is a treat uh, uh, to use next let's move on to the software now this device is powered by miui 13 and uh, we have the miui 13.0.2 global version and this runs on android 12 that's definitely one of the downsides of this device while software experience uh, you get a miui 13 the latest version of miui which brings in uh, uh, some new features but uh, being an android 11 device you don't get the new uh, privacy dashboard feature uh, nor the android 12's feature but more or less it's covered with uh, the miui uh, 13 so miui 13 brings in some additional features like sidebar then you get the re regular options like floating window second space then um, customization option so uh, it's a full-fledged UI and MIUI 13 definitely uh, is good uh, uh, that's pretty good work done by Xiaomi but uh, not having Android 12 is definitely a downside on this device but otherwise uh, the software experience feels pretty smooth uh, MIUI 13 looks pretty smooth actually we did not see any sort of major bugs or issues as of now we have been using this for like uh, more than two weeks now and uh, uh, we did not see any sort of major issues on this device so that's the software experience of the uh, POCO X4 Pro. Now moving on to the other aspects, the performance. Now this device is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 chip. Now this is one of the extremely popular chip nowadays. A lot of devices have been launched with this chip. And uh, this is uh, uh, coupled with either uh, uh, 6 GB RAM or 8 GB RAM. So we have been uh, using this device for, as I said before for more than two weeks and the performance is pretty good on this device. Day to day tasks are really smooth and no lags and no starters and uh, overall uh, for a device in this price segment it feels pretty nice. Now uh, uh, there are a few things uh, which is not that great. The gaming experience is kind of average I would say it's not a superb device in terms of gaming but uh, it still does a pretty good gaming uh, uh, if you are a casual gamer, if you are a heavy gamer, probably this might not be the best option, but uh, uh, for casual gamers, this should work ideally. 
Now, uh, one of the other things to note is that if you look at the Poco X3 Pro launched last year, it came with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 chip, one of the powerful chips out there because it had a really great gaming experience. It's probably a downgrade to the 695 in terms of gaming experience. But otherwise, uh, this device looks good in terms of performance and the day-to-day -day task did really well on this device. Now, in terms of speaker performance, uh, we have a dual uh, firing speakers and the speaker performance is really good. And that's one of the uh, good aspects about this device, the studio speakers, the sound output is really good. Now you get um, a dual SIM card, dual Volti, 4G LT and there is also 5G support. You don't have to miss out on anything here. Carrier aggregation is also supported and call quality and signal strength looks pretty good on this device. Now the fingerprint scanner is sound mounted. Again, it's quite fast in unlocking the device and face unlock also works pretty good. Now next let's move on to the camera. So we have a 64 megapixel sensor, then we have an ultra wide and a macro sensor. Then you get a selfie camera. So we have done a detailed camera review of this device. We found the camera to be quite a capable one, although not a class leading one. The Poco X3 Pro also had a really good camera. Now the Poco X4 Pro camera is quite good, although there is room for improvement, especially in terms of reduction in noise and increasing the sharpness levels. But otherwise the 64 megapixel sensor does a pretty good job overall. We have done our detailed camera review. Do check out that video to get an idea about how the performance has been. Uh, the ultra wide angle camera also looks quite okay. Uh, the macros are kind of average, I would say. It's nowhere close to the 5 megapixel tele macro by uh, Redmi. But uh, 2 megapixel does a decent job altogether. But again, uh, we feel the 5 megapixel should have been provided here. Now, uh, the low light experience feels quite okay. Again, there is still room for improvement. A bit more processing could uh, be done. Uh, then selfie experience is quite okay I would say. Video recording this is uh, capped at maximum of 1080p resolution at 30fps. There is no 60, no 4K. Uh, partially due to restriction by the Snapdragon 695. Then uh, um, overall uh, camera experience feels quite okay I would say. It's above average experience although there is still room for improvement. Now next uh, is the battery life. So you get a 5000 milliamp hour battery and 67 watt charging. It takes around uh, 45 to 50 minutes to charge this device. We have also done the charging test. Now the battery performance is really good. You get like easily one and a half days of battery life on this device. So seven to eight hours easily you can get a screen on time. Even more than that is possible. Again, that depends upon person to person and the apps you use. On an average, you can get more than that. So that was the battery performance. This is a stellar device in terms of battery experience. So that is our detailed review of the Poco X4 Pro 5G. So uh, how does this device stack up in the sub 20k price segment? Probably this is one of the good offering right now below 20,000 because the prices have increased and Poco X4 Pro retails for around 18 triple nine. It's a pretty good device in terms of pricing as well as the features being offered. You get a Qualcomm 695 chip. It's a pretty good chip. Uh, 120 hertz Super AMOLED display, glass finishing looks are also good. Camera second of okay, great battery life, good performance all around. So it's a well-rounded package. Now cons of this device, Android 11 is only offered. So Android 12 should have been offered. That's one of the major con. Other than that, probably you can say that um, the camera performance still needs uh, improvement. That's one of the other issues we faced. Uh, it's not a bad performer in, in terms of camera, but it still needs a bit more improvement. And if you look at the gaming experience uh, from Poco X3 Pro to Poco X4 Pro, this is definitely a downgrade from 860 to 695. So those are the pros and cons of the Poco X4 Pro 5G. So overall looking at the pricing, uh, we feel the Poco X4 Pro 5G is one of the better options right now below the 20,000 price segment in India. You can buy it uh, and uh, this uh, is a good all-round package at this price segment. So that was our experience with the Poco X4 Pro 5G. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.